Hello everyone, this is Lars. Welcome back to some more Avalon the Black Fortress. And yeah, I checked on the interweb and this fight is well it's it's just a constant grind. You have to be a little bit lucky and use all your potions and resurrection scrolls and yeah, and you can actually have four members here, so that's good. I didn't get the ninja dude. You might be able to have five, uh, but that was because we didn't finish that thing to avenge his family or or whatever. And yeah, and this is considered to be the worst boss fight in uh, in uh, Spiderweb's history. It's just totally crappy. Uh, I don't want to grind. It said that just just skip it and <laughs> some of them said that this ruined uh, ruined the game for them basically because it's just stupid it's just stupid crazy it should be if the sentinels were in one room or something it would be totally fine but I don't want to stand and grind and take seven eight damage at a time and it, it's just going to be a constant grind for a long, long, long time. I'm, <laughs> I do not, I do not want to do that. Yeah, he's reaching for something. Blah, blah, blah. Listen to Tarkus. Uh, yeah, I will kill Tarkus myself. Approvingly. Okay. So let's just, let's just do it this way then. No point doing it another way. Yeah, I'm not even going to spend these skill points. I'm just going to hit him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So, yeah, this is this is the way I'm going to do this. I'm not going to bother doing anything else. This is going to take way, way uh less time uh let's see you can just summon a beast and you can just i don't know spine shield no that's pointless spirit charge why not yeah we can take this easily uh yeah we know who's the decoy who the decoy is yeah let's see can you heal yourself yeah <laughs> uh so this is uh, that's just so stupid. I really wanted to kill Redbeard, but I am not going to grind for an hour or two and just Yeah, that's going to be so incredibly annoying Yeah, I am not going to do that Yeah, where's the way far now? Okay, it's your turn. Do it like that. Come on, kill him. Redbeard isn't helping at all mm, Let's see you can just run there I guess Savelin can just hit him. It really doesn't matter. This is just stupid. It's so annoying that we can't. Wow, that's a lot of decoys. Good thing they're marked though. But yeah, this is this is going to take way too long to kill Redbird. I'm not going to even bother trying. Do the decoys actually do damage? I think they do. Uh, so yeah, uh, group heal I guess. Mm, let's see, Lars, you can hit the Wayfarer. Like that. You can just do it like that I guess. Uh, yeah, use that. Why not? Uh, use some fire. So yeah, that's. this is actually a really, really boring ending ending it's just annoying because if you want to finish it with killing redbeard you you expect that it uh, it's going to be well, not easy but i didn't expect it to be that annoying it's just <laughs> it's more or less just super annoying there's no other way to put it it's yeah it's not worth it it is not worth it at all critical there we go he's dead soon but this is actually a really boring way to end this 
It's not cool at all to end it like this. Yeah, I didn't want to end it like this. Uh, let's see, group heal. Where's the group heal? Didn't you have a group heal? Wait, what? Charm for bandages. Blah, 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 speed burst. Oh yeah, I didn't fix the stuff. I did not fix that stuff. Let's see, you need a heal. Just hit the wafer. Well, we actually didn't need that heal because we can kill him now. Well, decoys actually do damage, so yeah. Okay, let's see. Assassin collapses, coughing and spitting blood. What waste? Uh, I was a fool, I wasted my life on this attempt. I might, might, and then he's silent. Redbird turns to you. Now that uh, that ugly business is settled, I need you to report. There is much to dis uh, discuss, plan, and to do. Okay, and um, it's knocking on the door. Wait, what? Oh, we have to kill these ones too. Okay. Let us do that then. It's no problem at all. Yeah, yeah, come on. Kill them. Uh, what? Okay, we're done here. Oh, we dropped a nice armor. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, before I was clinical detachment. That was a long delayed bit of business. Uh, were this a happier day, I would take some satisfaction. As it is, he has distracted me at a time when I couldn't afford it. What gets my attention, however, is that you seem to have spoken to him already. Judging from your actions, seems to have some luck planning, planking disloyalty in your head, okay. Tell me, how do you know this creature? Uh, you suspect that your answer to this question will make a huge difference. Will make a huge difference. Uh, yeah, constantly contact me, he was a pest. Can you imagine how irritating that was? He was a cunning and persistent fellow. Better hands than you have been turned by his vials. Must have seen great potential in you, but you seem to have resisted. A mark in your favor. Enough about his refuse. Just wait enough time. I need your report. Report what? Uh, trying to seem casual. Yeah, he's furious. Need to go downstairs, show myself, regain control. Must have my animation on possible, blah blah blah. Mm. Uh, you didn't know Miranda was a traitor? Miranda, traitor, the most loyal of my wives. You must be joking, you. Then he sees the look in your eyes for the first time, Redbury is strong as balance. In fact, he's stunned. You speak the truth, Miranda has betrayed us. She still held a grudge against me all this time. I, I must, no. <clears throat> There's time for anger later. A horrible vengeance will fall upon her. Have my duty. What happened with Lord Griffin? I received some confusing reports. Yeah, I declared my criminal. Will tell you nothing. Yeah, send soldiers to hunt me. That is indeed what was reported to me. A repeat of that business with Han Gavin. That's very odd for you to be a reporter as traitors as well. Made me suspicious. I is no longer trying to make peace. Not the unexpected, support me in this noble doom quest as best I could. Did not however expect the consequences of his failure to be so dire. Oh, yeah, he was a traitor, but I let him go. We did, but why? He was loyal at first, but then he betrayed us. The attorney was he working with Tarkas. Mm, this action makes you suspect. You must realize that. And then every day would be on the way to the dungeons. I would give you another chance to redeem yourself. Yes. I believe that everything that has happened, the attacks on Avadon, attacks on Han, Madness is Kva, uh, rah, 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 are all linked. Someone powerful. Yeah, named Deles. Here we go. <coughs> name sounds familiar. Passed my desk recently. Uh, one of our suspects, Miranda said that she thought he was innocent. More of her treachery. Mm -hmm. I will see you rewarded for this. You have done a great deed. What will happen to me? Yes, what will happen to your suspect insolent self? Good reason to 
suspect you, but you're young and you have shown great skill. I can't afford to discard good material. Spare you a moment more. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you wish to say uh, about Avalon? Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I only wish to serve Avalon. Let's get it over with. Yeah, I have my suspicion about you, but you're young. Yeah, you may still have a great part to play. Come to the side. <clears throat> you're young and foolish, but I see stealing yet. Are you ready to blah, 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 away and fight for Avalon? I will be a heart. And I will remain the hand. Not what I see into that, that would be for the best. Uh, take some time to atone for the lack of wisdom I have seen. You will stay a hand, a valued servant of Avadon. It is time. Time for what? We go downstairs, show ourselves, we'll take command of the Black Fortress. Sure, uh, we are unafraid, and then we'll go forth and give all we have to protect people who pact. This uh, Deles has best run in fear. Today he is marked for death. Mm -hmm. I've been weak and distracted. This ends now. Come, Lars. Today we begin to fight back. Yes, Keeper. Leave him behind. Walk towards the stairs. Now, at last, the real battle is about to begin. And I hope that is that. Yeah. Finally. Okay. So this <laughs> this is. Oh, that's nice. Sun rose the next morning over a blasted and burned Avadon. The assassins who snuck in through the low tunnels had all either been killed or managed to escape. The survivors, stunned by the brazen attack upon the heart of Avadon's power, wandered the halls, taking note of the damage. Mm, okay, yeah, there we go. Um, destruction was considerable. Libraries were burned. Ileria, librarian of Avadon, was found murdered. Yeah, came uh, knowledge. Not to mention invaluable reports on the current state of Linnaeus. We're now ashes. Many of the hands who survived the attacks and ambushed of the last few months were dead. Workshops were destroyed. The miner of the dungeon were smashed. Everyone, everything went to crap. Stunned surviving hands and eyes followed their first instinct. It was to look for Hart Miranda, Redbird's most trusted administrator. Did not find her, they did, uh, they did not yet know of her treachery. Of course, there will have many chances to curse in the months to come. Yeah. So then they went to Redbird's Tower looking for their leader, and they found that the gates to the Hall of Resolution were uh, sealed. Scaled, panic began to spread, just as newly terrified and broken warriors of Avalon were about to shed their training <coughs> and determination. Loot the citadel and flee, the gates open, they ran through. Okay. Yeah, there's Redbird. This might be us. I uh, found Redbird. You stood by his side. You had been sorely tested a number of times, and yet you remained loyal to the pact. Your companion still stood by your side. What? Wait, where's Natalie? Natalie isn't there. Oh, come on, that's bad. Uh, once full of doubt, they finally were helped to see that their true enemies were not in Avalon, but the Far Lands. Redbird turns to you and places a hand on your shoulder. I know that you have followed a difficult path lately. The work you have had to do was hard. Uh, you've been given many chances to doubt the work we do, and perhaps my leadership has not been as strong as it should be. Yet, you have prevailed. You have withstood both danger and confusion, and you have stayed loyal. I will remember this, and you will be rewarded. Then, as more and more survivors of the assault enter the hall, Redbird start questioning the hand. He learns of the damage that was suffered, and the loyal servants that were lost. His feelings are clearly visible on his face, first surprise and shock, then limitless, limitless rage. Mm -hmm. He is going to give a speech. Uh, I owe you an apology. I'm old. For the first time, I think I might be too old. And yet, this crisis has happened while I am in charge. It's my responsibility and I will face it. Uh, I have <coughs> been complacent, um, not watched the day-to-day -day operation of this fortress enough. I have trusted my servants and some of them have rewarded us uh, with betrayal. From now, 
Until I fall, I will not let my attention wander again. We know who's responsible for the attacks. His name is Deles. He's in the Tavern Empire. He has spread this conspiracy against us to all corners of Linnaeus. That is all we know so far, but we will learn more soon. The pact is under attack, my friends. Some of our council is divided and confused. And it uh, relies upon Avadon to save it. We will not shrink from this task. Yeah, Hans and our attendants cheer at this. Uh, they have been reminded who they are, servants of the pact and of Avadon. They practically run from the room, re uh, room ready to rebuild this fortress and begin the hunt. We join them, it's the beginning of months of hard work. Uh, the investigation begins. Mm -hmm. He learned something of what has been happening elsewhere. Ah, oh, come on. Unrest in the wretched land does not end. Only grows worse. People of the squad to fight off constant incursion of wretched ogres and even the occasional titan. Cesaron continues to aid the pact, but only because of his uh, grievous wounds. When he recovers, he might well depart. Separin soon shows herself to be no ally of the pact. She only grows more firmly entrenched in the wretched lands, building her defenses and gathering allies. It will be some time before anyone has the strength to dislodge her. Fortunately, you were able to return the secret papers you found in the lair of the Titans to Avalon. Uh, once these messages are decoded, the hidden layers of many hostile Farlanders are revealed. Using this information, the Gua is able to do much to destroy their enemies. In Khmeria, much as predicted, the many enemies of Dolstead soon gather. They rush in, ready to destroy Dolstead and claim Ogrim Tor for themselves. Uh, they find a stead steed greatly depleted. Most of its best warriors were lost during our assault. Invaded charged through Dolstead, meager defenses and seized Karsta Al's mighty fortress. Within weeks of your final departure, Dolstead is no more. Okay. Fortunately, the demon lord Belloc remains in Chimeria. Yeah, I could have taken him. That was actually a little bit bad of me. I could certainly have taken him, but I forgot to go back. Uh, Infernal Realms. In these chaotic times, Abaddon is unable to find the time and resources to deal with this powerful threat. So far, nobody has found a way to master Belloc and help the beast to enter our world. All you can do is hope that this powerful threat stays trapped. Yep, so some of these will change depending on what you do. Yep, uh, but it was grim. No now uh, that Duke Griffin had Monker Shigan as a fellow warriors murdered. However, Abaddon is unable to convince Oklanda. Was an act of a traitor, Oklanas only see the murder of their countrymen by the hate, their hated rivals. Hanmar's council does all it can to calm the two rivals to little avail. For the first time in almost a century, the pact seems threatened by civil war. Uh, if it is not prevented, it will be a disaster beyond reckoning. It is here that the hidden foes of the pact have scorch, scored their true victory. It will only be revealed in the months and years to come whether this wound to the pact is a mortal one. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Eventually Avadon is rebuilt, the damage is repaired. More hands are quickly recruited, and yet uh, it has lost many of its most experienced servants, so yeah. Worse, it has lost its aura of invulnerability. For the first time in many years, many stopped fearing Avadon. Many stopped fear. yeah. <clears throat> While on mission, hands are frequently attacked and sometimes killed. There is little fear of reprisal. Walls are easily repaired. Wounds uh, to reputation are far harder to cure. Things are not well in the pack. Oklahoma and Calendarials edge closer and closer to war. Instead of concentrating on defending themselves from the enemies at the gate, the pact states... Okay, the pact stays jockey for advantage and plan for civil war, okay? Time and time you hear tales of Duke Griffin, he travels through Calendarial in secret, urging his people to leave the pact and ally with the Tavern Empire. Many are listening to him. This doesn't affect anything uh, in Avadon 2 though. I guess. <laughs> I don't think they used the save game from Avadon 1 in Avadon 2. First time in many years, the pact seemed to be in danger of falling apart. Uh -huh. We hunt for our enemies, but soon finds itself attacked from another direction, okay? 
Han Mars Council, Long Chalice and Purple of Avalon's influence, tries to weaken its power. Avalon is forced to use some of its limited power to defend itself from attacks from within the pact. Uh, their hard days, Red Bear works to the limit of human endurance and beyond. Well, to be fair, he's not actually 100% human, he drinks some crappy stuff to survive. Uh, when one problem is solved, two spring up to replace it. Unrest in lineage, both in the pack and the far lands, increases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the times are harder, your fellow warriors develop a habit. They look uh, each other in the eye and say, we are Avadon. And they work and learn and fight twice as hard. Uh, though they know that uh, one called DLS is working to undermine the pact, they are unable to find him. As attacks increase, he struggles to learn the location of their assailant, and yet he can't hide forever. Day and night, they leave the Black Fortress, risking attacks as they roam the free road, trying to find the hidden enemy before Linnaeus crumbles into war. Mm, the first volleys have been launched, the true battle still lies ahead. You will be ready for it. Oh yes, I will. Okay, that's that. This was a good game. Um, well, the only really crappy thing is this game is that the Redbeard fight is just so messed up we couldn't kill him. That's annoying. And yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, that's so stupid, but... Yeah, and the inventory management could be better, but other than that, this is a great game. Good story, and yeah, very nice game. So yeah, well, uh, nothing more to say. I hope you had fun, and I will see you next time. Or, well, in the next game, I mean. <laughs>